to pull it their way, but this is a very good site to go for an Echo. Now, what's interesting is how Excellence are opening up Basically Pretty the entire floor. Yeah. So they're definitely going to have somebody right below this armory. Yeah, they've got Pulse on the Realm kind of going around. Usually plays a little bit closer to that side, so I'm surprised to see him far east like he is right now. But I do expect him to rotate back as he kind of gets some intel, perhaps on which side they're attacking from. This is the interesting part now. Again, to open up everything, they need that double shotgun. That's why they got the uh, the Echo with his shoddy as well. Opens up the floorboard. You have the smoke that was doing the general reinforcement alongside with the Mira. So, this is a very interesting type of defense, and it means that if Pen Penta in general want to go for a balcony attack, a standard attack, it wouldn't work out too well because of how open everything is below them. What is up, my coconut bras, and welcome back. You guys know the drill. We are doing pro league tips, and this one is going to be for Penta versus Excellence. Man, and Penta on the first map did a complete 5-0 and wipe. It was absolutely insane. And we're going to jump right into it. In the first tip, you guys saw how Excellence was taking out the entire floor right here. Now, it's kind of a thin line because it's actually illegal to do that if you're using the, it with the intention of stopping the bomb plant. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what is going on right here. So you're going to see me stand above the floor. I have the option to plant the bomb. And then once you see me destroy the floor, that option to plant the bomb is going to be taken away from me. So as you guys can see right here, all the open floor areas, I cannot plant the bomb. So right here, I have an option to plant it. I can't even. As soon as I shoot, look at that. Now my option to plant is gone. So by doing this, Excellence would be forcing Penta to push further into the objective if they decided to attack from this side. But I believe probably what they were doing was saying, oh, we're using this as a line of sight in order to get in here. But I don't know, man. It's a little bit fishy when you open up an entire room. Let me know what you guys think down below. And of course, it could very well be that, but that they're using it for a line of sight. And I do know that the pros know tons of stuff that we don't fully understand. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. How open everything is below them. Yeah, I imagine the drones are going to start to get some idea. That was an interesting play there. We don't usually see people going around that way. This is usually the spot where you'd see uh, a Blackbeard, for example, but they're not playing a Blackbeard. So. All right, you guys, and just like the title says, Pro League Parkour, this is going to be the first one of the video, and they pull off some pretty sick stuff. This is going to be a good way and obviously much faster than using the rappel. All you got to do is run along the border and... It's going to be easiest with the three-speed Ash, of course. IQ would work, too. Uh, you can do it with the other operators. It's a little bit difficult, though. So it's just running along the balcony and dropping down. Really sick move. And alive is my man, and he's going to have to pass this Claymore. Not easy at all. Here we go. Comes in around the side, gets the shot on it. Now, this works out perfect because our video yesterday actually covered how to place the perfect Claymore on this specific set of stairs as well as others. And now we're going to be countering this exact Claymore that we went over yesterday's video for Pro League tips between Ents and Elevate. So this works out really good. All you got to do is find the Vault option, come up close to the wall depending on where the Claymore is, and you'll be able to avoid the red wires just like that. For the most part, except for Brian, but he's got some utility to deal with first. Oh, all three are spotted by Goga. So much info being relayed here to his teammates at Penta Sports. And now they just know where every, everybody from Excellence is. They can get a quick peek here. There Pengu will do that, though. We'll get one kill of his own. Goga goes in for the C4, but Fabian's ready and from behind. So right here, there's kind of a combination of things going on all at the same time. So first of all, they had a Pulse player right here in the security room. And right here, I'm going to show you how you can watch the line of sight downstairs into the back stock room. This is one reason that defending customs area is so rare. You will see it every once in a while, but this is part of the reason why it is so rare while you defend it is because it is so difficult to get into this window and plant in the supply room. So when attackers go to attacking customs, generally they're gonna go for a customs bomb diffuser instead of the supply room. It's because of that line of sight that is very, very useful. And it's really tricky to see when you are attacking it. Now, the other thing that was going on was Pulse was re able to rely so much information to his teammates and allow them to get pinched from so many different directions having those two doors open is just two options and as you guys saw the bandit player was further back and he was able to come out the door 
after they were so distracted from the front area, he did a run out on break room, did such a nice line of shot, and was able to take the final player out. So not looking great for them, but they do at least ha finally have more kills than we'd seen from oh, doing a border. Oh, this spot though. Okay, bathrooms, Fabian, ready if anybody pushes in onto B. And this is why you don't have anybody sitting on B right now, because he can hold it just from below in the bathrooms here. He hears Fox spraying a couple rounds, now gets info on him, relays it to his teammates up top. They're going to be waiting for him by the stairs. Echo Drone pushing them away, though, because... Those pinches. Yeah, and Goga is ready as well, just with a clean line of fire. Fabian is waiting until they jump in, and this is why you have the Supernova. No, he pulls out the bearing. He's ready until the Blackbeard just jumps in, but I think the B BB just does not want to come in. He All right, so this next line of sight is going to be a really nice one that Fabian was playing while he was defending in the kitchen area, and he was actually defending the dorms upstairs, the four above him, all the way down from the kitchen, and also he had a connector into the bathroom. And from this line of sight, he was able to stare straight out of this window that is so commonly repelled on by attackers. And he was actually able to nullify the Blackbeard from repelling inside right here. I believe the Blackbeard wanted to stay outside anyways, just in case the plant goes down, then he could protect it. But regardless, this is such a dangerous line of sight for any attacker to go on the window from. He also had a connector hole right here, just in case if he got pinched, he would be able to make a quick escape round the corner and flank the people who are going for a flank on him. This is a very standard way of attacking really, but Pengu just running in, getting the entry frag on a Gurmi. He takes down the, the Mira and it's been happening time and time again. The Mira has just not been able to stay alive and Eunice already had the main entryway there. So Pengu is just holding off at the other end of the armory hallway. And Yunus has taken control, hasn't used his Kairos shots just yet, no. so it can definitely... So right here, we're going to be making a line of sight also while we are attacking the dorm area. And so holding a line of sight and holding an angle from further back of the armory is way better than holding a line of sight just at the top of the stairs. The reason being is you're going to be able to make a nice pixel peek and watch both sides of the doors by laying behind this locker right here. So next time you guys attack the dorms, go ahead and take this wall out. It's not usually reinforced either. So pretty much every operator will normally be able to take this wall out. I've actually started reinforcing this wall when I defend upstairs in the dorms. And it makes a huge difference whether somebody can break this single wall open or not. It's actually going to help you guys quite a lot when it's reinforced and it cannot be broken. As you guys see right here, it is really dark when there is an attacker laying down here and they're gonna be able to watch both sides of this doorway. So go ahead, give it a shot, let me know what you think. Unas, there we go, finally he's gonna be able to take down the drone, and this is a very good spot because you cannot get shot behind these uh, yeah. couple bits he's of- He's definitely waiting for Geo to make that move. Oh, though someone found another angle on him, punched him just a little. And they open up all of the tower here, just trying to flush Unas out of it because this spot can actually Give him a pretty huge advantage, but oh. here we go. He used the advantage for himself. Geo's gonna get knocked off. No more oh. Thatcher. And in a push, where you're trying to go into the lower basement. Well, having the Thatcher alive to maximize the Habana charge. Uh, bar, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to do without that. It's not easy at all to go for this. And Yunus even low on HP. Oh, breaks down one. Finally, my man comes in, gets the kill on Yunus. All right, now I kind of cringed when I heard the commentator say that when you go behind these two little pallets, you're safe. You are definitely not safe when you go back here. I could literally name like five or six different ways on how you can take out a defender from hiding behind these 10 little roofing sheets. And yes, they are bulletproof. You can't shoot through them, but look at this. You can shoot through the floor, and if you're playing as Ash, you could Ash Breach up here, and it would pretty much be an instant down. Look at this. I'm going to break that and the entire floor is gone right there. So that's just one of many ways that you can take the defender out. And they ended up getting him down and out. So obviously you are not gonna be safe when here, but I wanted to point that out just in case you guys had mixed feelings on that. Definitely not safe when you're hiding back here, but it can be a good way to delay attackers. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for us. 
Go check us out on Instagram. See what we're up to this weekend. Got my bachelor party going on. I love you guys all. Thank you guys all so much for the recent support and just the continued following. Whether you're brand new or have been subscribed to me for years, I love you guys all. See you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace. Forest wall as Habana churches are coming in. Fabian trying to set up in a better spot here because he has been pushed back. This is why uh, basically use the Kairos instead of actually trying to jump in. You basically force all the defenders to back out of their tight-knit spot inside. And you see, oh, 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 oh Pengu is going to get shot down. Here we go. No, no, Grammy is going to get taken out as well. And it's just a cleanup. KS is still alive and he's trying to 1v1 here. And KS with there a shotty even on the mirror.